Hello everyone, it's Halloween Heartthrob, and today I have a simple and easy DIY for you today, and that is making a purse for your dolls. I guess you could really enlarge it or make it smaller to your preference, but first off I'm going to start by making the pattern which is I take a blank piece of paper and mark out roughly how big I want it to the particular doll that I'd like it for. After I figure that out, I start to sketch out and today's shape will be strawberries. I don't know why, I've kind of had this purse idea in my head for a little bit, mainly for myself, but I kind of more wanted to use some felt today. The only things you'll really need today are some ribbon, felt, and embroidery thread in a needle. <laughs> After you make your strawberry shape, you're going to want to make the sides or the, I guess, sides of the purse, the body. Um, I just kind of guesstimated how long of a piece I would need. And next you'll need a leaves shape. Now this, I traced the top of the strawberry so the leaves would sit nicely over it so it would cover the top of the strawberry like they do in the cute little pictures. Now taking some red felt, I fold the felt in half and then place the strawberry pattern over it so I can get two pieces. Then I'll do it again for another two pieces with a total of four strawberry bases. I will also be cutting out the sides of the purse out of this red felt. Now that we have all of our red pieces cut out, it's time to move over to the green leaves. Fold your felt in half again and then place the leaves pattern over it so we can get another two green leaf pieces. And you'll only need two because the other two red pieces are for the inside, which I'll show you later. Now that we have all of our pieces, it's time to assemble them. Taking some thread, I will be going around the leaves, and I will also be doing this for the strawberry. It gives it just a cute little extra look. Using a straight stitch, I go back and forth around the leaves, making sure not to get cl too close to the edge or the felt will rip. I do this all the way around the green leaves with the corresponding color thread. Now, before we go on to the red thread around the strawberry, it's time to add the little seeds. And I'll tell you why we don't start with around the strawberry in just a second. But I take some yellow embroidery thread and make little V's all over the strawberry to make like little seeds. And I do this to both sides of the strawberry. Just kind of go in a random pattern. You don't have to do it perfectly, and I think it looks best when you don't think about it too much. And there you go! All those loose threads, don't worry, we'll cover them up with that other piece of red felt. And here is where we are going to take the second strawberry piece and sew around it using a straight stitch. Now the trick with this is, is you don't want to put the red thread over the green. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to go in between the green and the red so the red thread won't show up on the green leaves. I'm trying to show you, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going in between with my needle and thread through the green and the red. See? No red thread on the green! It's genius! No, I'm just being a goofball. And for the rest of the strawberry, you'll just do a regular straight stitch without having to worry about the green, since it won't be there! <laughs> and there we go! There, it looks all cute and felty and ta-da! No loose threads in the back. Now we're going to attach the sides. The second strawberry pattern on the back cover will also really help for this so we don't screw up our stitches on the front. We'll be changing to a whip stitch and we'll catch the sides of the strawberry with the back piece of the strawberry so we're not going to touch the front piece at all. And there we go, the sides of the- oh, let me just drop it. There we go, the sides of the strawberry are all done. And now we're going to do it again to the second side. Remember not to go through to the front or first strawberry piece. 
And there we go, you're all done. You can add a snap or a closure if you'd like, but I'd highly suggest doing that to the base of the strawberry before putting on the leaves. I didn't worry about it because I wanted it to be open. Now I'll be taking a green ribbon that says explore on it because I feel like it fits the doll a little bit better, but moving on I'll be sizing the strap on the particular doll that I'm making it for. I'm not making this adjustable just to keep it as simple as possible. Once I find the length that I like, I go ahead and cut the ribbon. I fold the end of the ribbon to give it a nice clean edge, and then I attach it to the purse with green thread, making an X. I think the X looks kind of nice and it keeps that whimsical like she hand sewed it herself. Placing your purse on your doll, you're all done. I absolutely love the way this came out, it's so, so cute. If you decide to make a purse, please tag me in a picture on Twitter or Instagram, which will all be posted down below. If you'd like me to make anything for a doll or for persons, please leave it in the comments below or any other video ideas that you might have. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my Etsy and all of my social medias, which will be posted down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!